Hello everyone, and I have another MSC chess game from the chess history from 1938, and in this chess game we have Alexander Alehin with the white pieces, and his opponent, his hero, Bok, who was the chess champion of Finland many times, and he became a chess grandmaster in 1984. Interesting, isn't it? But this is 1938, and he played with Alexander Alehin. <laughs> Incredible! This chess game happened in Margat chess tournament in England. Who was the winner of the chess tournament? Is that a question? Of course, that was Alexander Alehin, the world chess champion at the time, the most dominant chess player at the time. Alehin lost this title with dying, actually. He didn't lose this title to anyone. Okay, so let's see what happened in this chess game. Alexander Alehin starts the game with d4, d5 by the Finnish chess champion c4, queen's gambit, d takes on c4, knight to f3, knight to f6, and we have queen's gambit accepted, so bishop takes on c4, c5, castling, knight to c6, queen to e2, a6. I think in this position Alexander Alehin is sacrificing a pawn for the quick activity, you can see that Alehin is very active, but the pawn uh, capturing the pawn was okay for black. Black could take the pawn, but black played. Uh, black didn't capture the pawn, so knight to c3, b5, bishop back, b4, kicking the knight back, but Alexander Alehin is pushing the pawn and attacking the knight. Knight to a5, bishop check, blocking, and now. Bishop takes bishop check. And then defending this knight comes to mind. Alexander Alehin first captured the pawn. Now he is attacking the bishop. Because if capturing the knight, capturing the bishop with check. So capturing the pawn. And then Alexander Alehin played this incredible move. Rook to d1. What a move. Pinning the bishop and sacrificing the knight. Well, Book didn't believe in Alehin's attack. He simply captured the knight. B takes on c3. And then rook takes on d7, what a move. Knight takes on d7, and then knight to e5, the knight is pinned, but now here comes the rook for the rescue. Is this too much for white? Because now white is a piece down, and black is just holding his ground. Well, Alexander Alehin first captured the pawn calmly and confidently. King to e7 was played, but in this position, if developing the bishop and if planning to castle, then here comes queen to h5, which ruins black's life on the spot. So pushing the pawn, capturing the pawn with the knight, and this is actually pretty dangerous for black, especially against a monster attacker like Alexander Alehin. So in this position, king to e7, pushing the pawn, and we have knight to f6, why not simply Capturing the knight. Can you see why Alexander Alehin pushed this pawn? What was his purpose? What was his plan? Well, his purpose was bringing the bishop to g5 if knight takes uh, on e5. So this is skewering the king and the queen and this is losing the queen. So in this position e5 and then knight to f6 not allowing bishop to g5. Bishop to g5 anyway, bishop, queen to c7, and it looks like black is surviving, but the king is exposed. The king is blocking his own bishop, and the rook is boxed in, so this position is not looking like an ideal position. So Alehin's pieces are also very active, and his king is looking safe. So bishop to f4 by Alexander Alehin, and he's threatening some discovery attacks to the queen. Queen to b6, and now centralizing the rook. g6, pinning the knight, and the rook can attack on d7. Defending with the bishop, but here comes a very strong move. Knight to d7, forking the knight and the queen. So this is a very dangerous position. Well, in this position, if defending the queen, e5 is also on the cards, is in the menu. So rook takes on d7. Rook takes on d7, king to f8, capturing the knight. Bishop takes, 
and E5 and basically Black resigned. Alexander Alehin read his opponent book like a book. <laughs> nice pun. So let me show you the possible continuation. Defending the bishop, then checking the king, and basically black is getting checkmated, and there is no sensible defense. What a game by Alexander Alehin. So he played incredible. So in this position, basically he sacrificed his knight. But for the entire chess game, black suffered because of pins and because of the uncastled king and because of his clunky position. So this was actually a masterpiece by Alexander Alehin, a must see chess game. So in this position, basically after this move, e5 is also coming and defending is very difficult. So this is basically all over e5. So you can see that almost every move is forced. Alexander Alehin was a very strong chess player. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games from the chess history and sometimes with modern chess games. Thanks again, stay safe and bye bye.